Welcome to my world, <laughs> Michelle Ray. What's up, everybody? <sighs> 24 hours later, but you know what? I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. Oh, with that being said, let's get into it. Love, heart to heart. quick little recap here uh mainly because well i just don't want any questions i mean god created man and woman democrats created all the other genders that's right this little old rebel redneck is not gonna learn any new words unless it is to make my bars tighter just wanted to put that out there Anybody having any questions regarding the situation, then please refer to Exhibit A. Not sure what gender you are? Look in your underwear. You're welcome. Hi, hey, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm gonna warn y'all. This is gonna probably be one of the realest, rawest videos that I ever make. Um, it's all about finding yourself. And if you don't really know me very well, then you're going to probably find out a great deal about me. I've got a couple stories on this one. Um, with that being said, though, anybody that is not a purple potato that identifies with a planet, by all means, let's get up into mindset. Mindset is everything. I'm going to start off by saying if anyone would have ever actually told me I'd be sitting here and being like a life coach or anything, you know, about 11 months ago, I'd been asking them just how much money I needed to come up with to get the shit that they were on. Straight up. Uh... It, it was a bad breakup. It was a long breakup, I guess you could say. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm one of those people. I don't, I don't give up. It just isn't in my nature. I, I, I'm too stubborn to know when to walk away. Or at least I used to be. Um, needless to say... You said you liked storms, so I let you in. Turns out you could only handle a little rain. And I am a hurricane. Hi, right, a little bit of a backdrop. Um, you know, whenever it came to personality, I am not life of the party. I am the motherfucking party. Um, needless to say, whoever I'm with, you know, they they gotta kind of they gotta be able to keep up, you know. It can't be no wallflower. Hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. And, um, I mean, obviously, though, uh, he, uh, he, he met me, you know, on that level. Um, at times, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, I think for the most part, our relationship was more of a competition. Yeah. One big game. Um... And for the better part of about a year, year and a half, I'd say, of our relationship, we, we weren't even, like, really together. I mean, he, he, he'd he be burning down one side of town, I'd be ripping up the other side of the county. I, Preston County, West Virginia, I had no clue how it is still here. I really don't. Um... So whenever I say long breakup, I don't mean maybe. But, you know, I, I, I need, you know, stability. My daughter, she needs stability. It, there comes a point in time when I had to realize, you know, we both, we need and deserve a future. And the type of toxic relationship I was in, it, it was never going to go anywhere. It was never going to provide a future for me or for her. 
Um, and it was pretty much a couple days after Valentine's Day. I, just, I finally said no more. And, you know, I finally, I closed that door. I am my problem, but also my solution. And by close that door, I am not going to sit here and say there were not tears. No, there were a lot of tears. Uh, there were a lot of moments of hopelessness. A couple different times, I, uh, you know, if it weren't for my daughter, I, I wouldn't be here at all. Nah. Um, there were definitely a lot of tears. Me starts crying. Me at me. Here we go again with your fucking crybaby ass. Now, needless to say, I'm not one of those females that just sits around, cries with a bucket of ice cream. No. I was always a heavy drinker. Always, you know, whether it was just a little bit of weed or into the dope. It, I was always into something. Needless to say, I made Redneck Crazy look minor. It got bad, real bad. I, uh, y'all can see I'm not that big. I was putting down at least a 30 pack a day. Still able to maintain a life for the most part. When I say it got bad, it got really bad. People need to learn that their actions do affect other people. So be careful what you say and do. It's not always just about you. You know, I knew, I, I knew deep down that it was for the better. I, I knew there would be brighter days. I... I knew my daughter needed me. I needed me um, to get it together. I just, I, you know, I was so consumed with uh, the hurt, the regret, the disappointment. You know, just all the negative. I, I really, I couldn't see past that at all. When will I realize that I only diminish my tomorrows by continuing to weep for yesterday? Now, like I said, I've... Looking back... People, I guess, just expected what I was doing out of me. I, like I said, I was always into something. And uh, for the most part, people didn't understand, you know, that I was beyond tore up and just in an emotional sense and um yeah I I did actually I I tried to reach out you know to a couple different people and just let them know for the most part I it, it was a lost cause it was gonna be a losing battle yeah I knew something was gonna be a breaking point for me and um Let's just say, you know, I, I was a lot like a uh, Wiley Coyote. I was chasing the Roadrunner. I knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, fuck around. I hit a goddamn brick wall. Ever accidentally throw something away, then later you realize you needed it? I almost did that with my life. Needless to say, Jail, jail is usually a pretty good wake up call. We're not gonna get into that in this video, no. That's a different video, different series altogether. We're, we're, we're gonna push fast forward here for a minute. I have three moods. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck this. Alright, so honestly what I'm about to share with y'all, it, it's very personal. Um, only a couple people even know really about this. Um, you know, while I was up at that wonderful facility, um, 
No, just a couple people. Shoot letters back and forth, and I, I accept club calls. Anywho, um, one of my buddies, you know, is up there, and uh, we ran, you know, in the same circle for five, six years. So he he knew, you know, the relationship. You know, everybody knew about that relationship. People still talk about that relationship. Anywho, um, for the most part, you know, he, he knew that wild, crazy, just no holds barred, Michelle. Um, you know, if, if there was something going on, I had my fingerprints all over it, probably. Um, you know, so he, he knew that part of me. Um, you know, so the first letter that came back, you know, after I'd wrote him and, you know, expressed a few things and he wrote back and everything. I'm I'm just gonna read you a part of it because I'd have to say that was really it was life changing for me. Um, whenever I read this. And it says I was actually telling my cellie about you a few days ago. To be honest, I was saying you would be a ride or die girl for sure if someone could just get your full trust. I don't think you would go so buck wild if you were happy in life with where you was in life. I think you wouldn't want to use drugs or wouldn't need drugs to self medicate to deal with everything in your life. To be honest, just my opinion. I don't know, am I right? So tell me what makes Michelle happy in life in general. What makes Michelle smile and want to get out of bed every morning? Just because she wants to, not because she has to. I'm going to look at this like school and we don't even know each other very well. Just like grade school. So educate me on Michelle. Who is she? What she likes and dislikes. So, you know, I I got that letter and, you know, I, I, really, I didn't really know how to respond. Um... You know, I was in the middle of writing and back, and, you know, it hit me. Grade school? Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. I cannot tell you how many times I must have said the word fuck throughout that process. I'd already had my notebook out, my pen out. I was writing a few lyrics down. Um, of course, I didn't really take my music too seriously either. I mean, I was just, that's how I cope with everything is to write. Um, but, you know, I, I want y'all to stop and think that grade school. Now, that's kindergarten through about sixth grade. Now, I don't know how I was going to respond. I, fuck. Like I said, I can't tell y'all how many times I said fuck. Hmm, fuck. I, uh, but I, I, I decided, mm, what the hell? Grab the paper, grab the pen. I got this, I got this. I was sitting there, I was thinking, you know what? I started smoking back in grade school, started getting high, started getting drunk, started doing all shit in grade school. I, I got, I got this. But then, you know, I, I was also thinking, you know, my buddy, he, he, he's gonna be in there a minute. And, uh, you know, what What he was actually asking, you know, he, he really wanted me to think deeper. And, uh, I mean, I, I was like, fuck. So, you know, I started writing. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I will never send him this list, but I don't know who I am. I mean, without the drugs, without the drinking. Without, you know, a relationship? What about my daughter? And then, you know, it hit me on grade school. Fuck! Three C's in life. Choices, chances, changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. Fuck! Fuck around. Just to be clear on the situation... Well, I finally decided, you know, that I was going to take the list seriously. And, um, 
I was sitting there and I decided, well, you know what? Music. Obviously, I've been writing these songs all my life. It's what I do. Um, and that makes me happy. So that was a good number one. Um, and then, you know, I, I really, I started thinking and thinking, and I was just laying there, and I had the window open. It was a nice, warm August night, and I was looking out the window and watching the twinkling of the stars. I was like, you know what? That makes me happy. Mm, you know, things like, the feel of grass on bare feet, and the sound of a crick on a hot summer day, just laying in the field watching a sunset, just little things. And that's what I really started to build my list around. Well, one thing turned into another and I'm up to about 63. Y'all probably ain't never gonna get the whole list, no. Nah. But, uh, at least you got a couple things. You know, and, uh, if you're having a problem right now in your life, whether it's, you know, relationship problems or just, you know, whatever is going on, and even if you don't have a problem, sit down, make a list, think of who you are, what makes you happy. You know, you don't even have to share it with anyone, just yourself. But I promise you, you're going to find out a lot. Unfuck yourself. Be who you were before all that stuff happened that dimmed your fucking shine. You know, I look back at the past 20 years, I guess would be a safe bet. And, you know, a lot of the things that went wrong in my life, um, especially in relationships, a lot of it really came down to the fact that, you know, I, I, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. And without knowing yourself, how can you ever be yourself around anyone else? As adults, we think we have a pretty good understanding of who we are. But when we strip it all away and we're left with just the basics, who are you? And I mean, if this list proves one thing to me, it's just how backwoods and basic I really am. So obviously, you know, yeah, y'all got me. I mean, a fucking nervous wreck. I want to go hide under my damn rock, but yeah, I, I've refused to do that. I've, I've done that too many times. So ask yourself, no matter how old or how young you are, ask yourself who you really are and then take chances. Make mistakes, but Take the chances. Take the risks. Be you. You can't offer anybody anything and actually expect anyone to ever get to know you if you don't know yourself. Dare to dream again, for dreaming is the language of your soul and nothing your soul truly desires could ever be wrong or impossible. Everything that you actually thought you knew about yourself, forget it. Take a tip from me. Get to know yourself. If you don't want to do that, well, I don't feel sorry for you. Only you can really Decide who you are, who you want to be. You have to figure out where you're at and where you want to be. I can't do that for you. Only you can. 
I don't have sympathy for someone who always wants to be a victim. I go through shit every day. So does most of the world. Be your own savior. Yeah, it took me a really long time. All my life. To really know who I was. I, I took a serious time out on life. And I can honestly say, you know, this video, it was not an easy video to make. I don't even really like thinking, you know, about my past. But, um, yeah, it made me who I am. I'm, I'm confident, you know, in myself, and I'm excited for my future. And I'm ready, you know, for, for real. I'm, I'm more than ready. Which is something that I haven't been able to say for a really long time, if ever. And you'll see in the next couple videos. I'm pretty happy. But when you look in the mirror, are you? I am enough. Hi, well. That's a wrap on this one. I promise the next couple videos are definitely going to get a hell of a lot better. Um, I just wanted to put this one out there first. It's always a good square one. And, uh, <laughs> y'all don't want to know how much stuttering I did in the making of this video. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Anywho. I hope you at least got something out of it, and if not, you know, if you know anyone who could, don't be scared to share it. And if you're new here, smash that subscribe, and click that little bell, okay? And down there in the description, as always, Monkstar. Go check them out. Epic awesome shit. Alright? Um, that's all I really have to say for now. I am totally jacked up on coffee. Get ready to drink more coffee. I'm about to start hearing that inner rapper come out. Yeah. <laughs> but I love you all. Take care. Behind my smile is a breaking heart. Behind my laugh, I'm falling apart. Behind my eyes are tears at night. Behind my body is a soul trying to fight.